Hey guys, it's Jess and I am back with another video. It has been so long. Like, let me see how long. I gotta look. The last time I uploaded something on here was two months ago. It's been so long. From the time I uploaded that video until now, my life has changed drastically like oh my goodness i can't even begin to tell you guys like my life has changed drastically like today is what september september 3rd and my life has changed drastically like literally after i recorded my last video i moved out of my mom's house maybe like a week later um, that's a whole story that I will not get into because it's just going to get me upset all over again. Um, yeah, I don't want to get into that right now, but I was living somewhere for like less than a month and I didn't like it and I felt like I was paying like you know my rent money and if i'm paying rent money i want to live somewhere where i'm comfortable and not where i'm not comfortable and just i don't know there was just a lot of shit going on there so i left there and i was thankful to find the place that i'm at now which i love so much more and the rent is so much cheaper um this video is going to be all over the place and it's most likely going to be two parts because it's a lot. <laughs> like it's a lot of stuff. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I'm definitely going to make this video a where have I been video. And like my new life changes I guess. Um, yeah so let me just say this. When I was living at home with my mom and I didn't have any real responsibilities besides credit cards and my phone bill, I was spending money like it was no tomorrow. Um, I never saved money. My credit score was actually like fucked up, excuse my language, um, because I was just like maxing credit cards left to right. But when I moved out of my mom's house, like reality really hit me like having a bad credit score and not having any money saved up is the hardest thing um it's, it's just hard like just being out on your own and just trying to figure out like um where's my next check gonna come from how am i gonna have my money um, at the first of the month, it was just like, it was and it still is like very stressful for me, especially being that we're in a pandemic, like I haven't gone back to work since March. So that's even, that's stressing me out as well. And um, literally God has been making a way and I've been able to like pay my rent on time thank god but like i don't know what these months coming hold for me like i don't know if god is gonna continue to hold me down and make me figure out a way i don't know if my job's gonna open back up i literally don't know what's gonna go on all i can do is pray and hope things work out and guys, look, this is, I'm going off topic for a second, but let me just say that you guys are probably going to be like, yo, this girl been gone for two months and this is how she comes back looking like this. I look crazy. Like, I look like I just rolled out of bed, but I didn't. I'm going to tell you guys in a minute why I look like this. I'm actually going to put some lip gloss on though. Alright, I feel a little better. I hope you guys accept me. 
you know, how I come. <laughs> um, okay. Let's get into what this video is really supposed to be about. Um, actually, I was actually in bed. It's like, what time is it? 11.45 on a Thursday. Um, I was in bed and I was feeling a little sad. And I was like, you know what? Let me get out of bed. Let me, let me do something. Because, like, guys, you guys don't even understand for the past two months I want to say I've just been so sad and depressed and I haven't had any haven't had any energy to record to do makeup to do nothing like you guys are not gonna even believe me but I haven't worn makeup I haven't worn makeup since July 13 and then I wore makeup the day of my birthday which was a few weeks ago and then I had on makeup today because I had an interview. But I don't even have the energy to touch makeup, to do anything. It, sometimes, like, people ask me to do makeup and I have to, like, really sit there and, like, do I really want to do this right now? It's not that I don't want to do it. I just don't have the energy for it right now. So, yeah. Um, okay. I wrote down a lot of things in my phone because so I wouldn't go off topic but where should we start off like I don't know guys I look busted but anyways this is so crazy because I started writing this whole thing so much since like last month and I'm still not done but whatever um, and this video is going to be a little bit backwards, but you guys will see and understand when I get to that part. So anyways, I remember, all right, so back in July, right? Yeah, July. I remember laying down one day and I was laying on my stomach and I was not feeling why well. I felt so weird I'm like what's wrong with me like I was laying down right guys and my boob like one of my boobs I can't really remember I think it was my right it had this burning sensation like under it and I'm like oh my god what is this I don't know about you guys but when I feel something I'll be quick to type on Google like what does this mean and of course you know Google won't tell me you know the burning sensation means cancer and I'm like oh my god like could I have cancer for real? So I'm over here like thinking like could this be cancer? Like I had a cyst in my boob like when I was in a freshman in high school. Um, you know, I was thinking like maybe I'm getting another cyst in my boob. I don't know. I was just thinking like what could this be? So it stopped. But then, when that stopped, I started having back pains. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Like, every time I turn around, I don't feel well. But I'm like, what's wrong with me? So then, one night, I was laying next to... Um, The guy that I'm dating and it was like 6 a.m. I think and I could not sleep and I was like looking at him while he was sleeping because this nigga was sleeping like there was no tomorrow so unbothered just knocked out and I looked at him and I'm like did you get me pregnant and he just like woke up he was like huh what are you talking about like i don't know go to the doctor and i'm like okay so then i was like you know what oh at this point also my period was two days late no i'm sorry one day late and i'm never late never 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 i never had a regular period never like my period is always prompt on time 
she's always there you know like so i'm like something is up but i'm thinking like you know because you know they say when you're more sexually active like your cycle changes so i'm thinking like okay maybe it's gonna come whatever but i still just wanted to get a test so i had did um a store pickup at like 6 a.m that was way before target opened i did a store pickup for a pregnancy test i got the two pack because i was not playing i got the two pack just to um see you know just to take two be sure i got the two pack and so yeah like when you do a store pickup you order it online or whatever and then it'll give you you get another confirmation saying like hey your order is ready for pickup so i um got the email that my order was ready for pickup at like 9 a.m but i didn't end up going to get the pregnancy test until like 10 30 at night mind you they were closing at 11 and hold on guys i just want to make sure i'm one point yeah so i um so i went and i got i went and i got um the pregnancy test like closer to 11 o'clock at night and i got it and i came back home he actually came with me but when i came back inside i think he noticed that like i'm not about to take it while you're here <laughs> so he stepped out he left and then i was on facetime with my cousin i forgot what we was talking about but i decided to tell her like yo i just brought a pregnancy test and she was like where is it like are you going to take the test and i was like yeah just not right now and she was like i'm not getting off the phone until you take the test and i'm like okay fine i'll take the test so i go in the bathroom like all right i'll take the test and she's like yo i know you're pregnant and i'm like no i'm not like um i've never in my life had a pregnancy scare missed the period like i said my period was always on time so i'm like i'm not pregnant like i'm not pregnant but we're just gonna do this whatever so she was like i promise she was gonna come back positive so i pee on the test and I peed on the test and you know the part where it comes up like the two lines I peed so hard and so fast that the pee splashed onto that part and but I peed on the part where I was supposed to pee as well and I put the test down <laughs> and I put the test down and I swear to God not even a minute passed and two lines came up and they were red like they were so red like a dark red and my cousin is like i told you you were pregnant and i'm like no it's broken i peed on the wrong part so it's broken and she was like are you kidding me right now and i was like yes let me go get the other one so i go get the other test and it also said i was pregnant two lines and i actually saved the test I don't know why but um but yeah i saved both of the taste i had no reaction at that point i was literally like i literally like <laughs> like i think i was just like smiling and my cousin was just staring at me like and I was like but um yeah I I didn't have a reaction like I literally went back to the kitchen I started washing my makeup brushes like I had no reaction and then that's when I was just looking at her on FaceTime and I was like yo did that really just come back positive like did that really just come back positive and um i was just sitting on my bed after a while and i was like oh my god and i um i didn't know what to do at the point and at that point 
I didn't have no family. No, I'm lying. I had my two cousins that I could talk to and tell the situation. But I didn't have, like, you know, I don't know if I see this the right way, but, well, for me at least, having cousins and friends is two different things. Like, I feel like I've always been closer to my friends than to my family, which I'm regretting now because I feel like any person that I've got close to, they've, like, switched up on me. And I'm really a difficult person to be friends with. Like, I don't make friends. So when I make friends with somebody and you make me feel, um, what's the word? And you just, I don't know, like, you make me regret our, our friendship. Like, it really bothers me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really bothers me because I feel stupid. Like, I stepped out my comfort zone, my comfort zone, comfort zone to be a friend. And you just, I don't know, like... You just make me feel stupid so i started hitting up people not hitting up people but texting people that i thought were my friends and you know like asking them like am i bugging if i keep this baby or whatever like that that's one thing i'm gonna say that i regret doing and i'm gonna tell you guys why one, I regret telling certain people that I am pregnant because those people don't even check up on me. Like, and if they did, it was probably like once or twice, but they don't even check up on me to be like, yo, you good? How are you feeling? How's everything going? So I just feel like um, something like this, which is so special to me, I should have kept it to myself and people that are really close to me like at the end of the day like my family is my family like even if like my family is my family I feel like I should just kept it with between me and my family um uh yeah and there's so much more reasons why I feel like I should have just kept it between me and my family because it was just so many opinions and it was just driving me insane and I literally did not know what to do, whether to terminate the pregnancy or keep this baby. Um, like I said before, like, you know, I just moved out of my mom's house. Um, it wasn't even a month since I left my mom's house. Yeah, it wasn't a month. I had just moved out of my mom's house, you know, and I'm like, I have rent to pay now. I have groceries to buy. I still am trying to pay off these credit cards so I can, you know, fix my credit. Um, I was even thinking about going back to school. Just a whole bunch of things. So I'm just like, do I keep this baby? Do I not? Do I keep this baby? But if you know me, like if you know me, and if you've been you me all my life, you already know that having a baby is something I always wanted. Like always always wanted to be a mom like i always wanted to be a mom i always wanted to hear someone calling me mommy and you know like growing up um i always felt like i wasn't loved so um oh my god i'm getting a little emotional wow this video is like <laughs> um yeah so growing up I always felt a disconnect from both parents and I came from a one parent household so in my head I always felt like okay when I have my baby I'm gonna learn what real love was so I remember like my cousin that I was on FaceTime with um, one thing that I did say to her I said, finally, I'm going to have someone to love me. She said at that point, she already knew that I was not going to have an abortion and that I was going to keep the baby. But I still wasn't sure at that point. I made that comment, yes, but I still was not sure because bringing a life into this world, like, this is not how I wanted to do it. Like, I wanted to be prepared. I wanted to have a degree, like, like i don't know i just had this plan in my head and no disrespect to anyone else but i felt like i don't want to be working retail still making 
a little bit of money every two weeks or every week and trying to feed a kid and trying to clothe a kid and trying to house put a roof over a kid's head i wanted to do it where i didn't have to struggle like you know my parents well my mom because my mom is a single mother she struggled raising us and i didn't I, I didn't want that for my kid so you know all those things were coming into play and i was so unsure of what i wanted to do with this pregnancy and like i said i had so many different opinions and it was literally like messing with me so like i said the opinions were messing with me i didn't know what to do and it was just a lot for me like it was really a lot for me and let's not even talk about like my child's father you know like i said he had stepped out and i was waiting for him to come back so i could tell him the news but he took so long and i ended up getting frustrated and i sent him a picture of the pregnancy test and he just texted me i think he said like i'm coming what i don't remember what he said i wish i still had the text message but i don't i think he said like you know i'm on my way or whatever like that so i'm like okay so he comes and he's like not even saying anything to me and i'm like <laughs> okay so then although i sent him a screenshot of the test i also gave him the test and he's like why are you giving this to me and i was like because i want you to see it for yourself in person and he looks at it and um he just stares at it and then he leaves the room and then he comes back and he had a little bit of tears in his eyes and i was looking at him like what and then he goes i really want you to keep this baby no what did he say to me he goes you don't know how excited i am this is something i've always wanted um he's seven years older than me so he's seven years older than me um and he's like you know this is something i always wanted um i can assure you that like i'm gonna take care of you and the baby and blah blah blah, blah. and i was looking at him i literally sat in his face with the most straight face literally like this i was like i am not ready for this i was like i don't have no money i don't have no rich parents um i like to buy nice things i like to get my hair done i like to buy makeup like i am not ready for this and he was just like i got y'all and i was like mm, mm. um yeah so it took me some time to make my decision but once i went to my first doctor's appointment at the time i didn't have a sonogram yet no I just went to my first doctor's appointment you know the first checkup and the lady you know obviously did another pregnancy test which i also have it's this little thing right here but um i also have that and i feel like once the doctor told me i was like okay it's real like these two tests was not enough for me but this was enough for me she was like you're four weeks pregnant and i was like come again for who what huh? <laughs> anyway she was like you're four weeks pregnant and i was like what and i was like well um because i heard that they could tell you the day of conception and i was like well when did i get pregnant she was like um tell me your last period and blah 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 and she goes june 28 and i was like oh i remember that night i remember that night i remember that night um i remember that night like it was yesterday um yeah um i remember that night let me just keep saying that um yeah so you know, I was in the doctor's office for a very long time. My back was on fire. 
like they're talking to me and asking me a thousand questions and i'm like oh my fucking god can this like can this be done with already like my back was on fire i could not stand i was just so annoyed like i was like oh my goodness um then you know we get outside we um he wasn't allowed because you know covid is going on so he could not come in just me by myself me and the doctors um so i get outside and he's outside and i'm like yo i'm really pregnant he was like yeah i know and um he as we're driving he looked at me he was like so are we doing this and i literally stood out the window for like five minutes with no response and um I turned around and I looked at him and I looked back out the window and I was like, yeah. And then I gave him a warning. I was like, at any point in time, if you think you're going to walk away from my kid and think you're going to be able to come back, it's not going to happen. Like, you know, I've noticed that in my generation, a lot of people have kids and before the kid is born or like a year before the kid turns one like they're not even together anymore and that's not something i want but if it happens it happens like i'm not gonna force something just because i have a kid you know so um of course i would want my kid to be like in a two-parent household be being that i didn't have that growing up but um I'm not going to force it. At the end of the day, like, I always say, like, the kid is going to notice, like, mommy isn't happy or daddy isn't happy. So, like, if we have to separate, it is what it is. But, whatever. So, um, wait, let me see if I t touched on everything that I wrote down. I think I did. Yeah. I have everything that I wrote down. But, um, but yeah, um, so I went to that appointment, I can't even remember, July something. I went to that appointment July something, then I had another appointment where I had my first ultrasound. Um, yeah, I had my first ultrasound. If I only tell ya how horrible this experience was, you guys gonna fall out your seat. Like, when I say I'm a nice person, I'm a really nice person because certain things that be happening to me with people were just like at a doctor's office, or at a nail salon, or just, I don't know, at a store. Like, I feel like the way I should react, I don't react. But let's talk about this doctor's appointment. I was going to save this for the part two, but I'll just talk about it now. I remember it was a storm this day. It was... Was it August? Yeah, I think it was the beginning of August. Yeah. It was a storm this day. Like, trees were falling on the floor. It was just a really bad storm. And... Um, I woke up that day. I was really sad. I had woke up from a bad dream in the middle of the night. I'll tell you guys, a bad dream was about someone trying to kill my baby. It was so scary and I was so sad. I literally just woke up and I cried, you know. And I called my child's father at the time and I was like, I had a dream this person is trying to kill my baby or whatever like that. And he's like, it's just... You know it's just a dream it's just because you keep thinking about um this person and what they did to you and blah 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 and i'm like okay whatever so i tried to go back to sleep and i did but then when i woke up it was like this big storm outside like literally trees was falling on the floor falling into cars falling into houses like doing real big damage um i need a sip of water i'm so hot right now But yeah, so, you know, at the time, I forgot what he was doing. I think he was working in Queens. He was doing something in Queens. 
and he knew what time the appointment was because he told me what time the appointment was and he still came here late my appointment was i think at 2 30 or 3 o'clock and he came and picked me up from my house the time of the appointment so i was already annoyed with that and i was like you know what let's just reschedule he was like no let's just still go and i'm just thinking about the weather the dream that i had i was just so all over the place that morning i'm like okay whatever so he ends up coming and no i'm sorry i had called the doctor's office just to see when's the next availability and she told me it would be august 20th which is very far um and i was like i'm not waiting that long you know everyone was telling me by this i would by the time i was six weeks or seven weeks everyone kept telling me i should be able to hear the heartbeat so i was excited like i brought my camera and everything i wanted to record i was so excited i was like okay cool you know i didn't want to miss the appointment but when she said the next appointment was august 20th i was like nah we're we're going today it could be hail sleet or snow we're going so we get there mind you this place is far from where i live we get there and um, the guy is like, your appointment's canceled. And I looked at him, and I was like, sir, sir, it's no way we drove 45 minutes in this weather, and my appointment's canceled. You guys are going to see me today. Today, okay? Period. Now, let me stop being a bird. But, yeah. So, he was like, okay, sit down, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. So, of course, my child's father, thinking he's... I don't know he walks into the doctor's office and the lady's like hi sir can i help you and i'm like he's with me and she's like well he can't be here and he's just staring at her and i was like just go like it was frustrating and it still is frustrating going to my doctor's appointment and just you know not having him there but it's nothing i can do and i understand that they're just trying to you know be cautious like i get it whatever but um but yeah so anyways so i'm waiting to see the ultrasound tag all of a sudden i'm gonna get nasty i'm just gonna warn you guys now all of a sudden i see this short russian bitch this height she's like rushing over to me she's like where is she where is she and i was like it's no way this lady is looking for she which is me there's no way so she's like where is she and i'm like is she okay like she looked like she had five coffees so the, the the secretary points over to me and he's like she's right there and um and i was like and then as i'm walking with her she's like come on let's go let's go so as i'm walking with her the secretary was like wait can i just have the paper that says the ultrasound for today and i was like yeah sure so i had so much paper with me from my first appointment um yeah, I had so much paper with me for my first appointment. I had to look through my papers. And, you know, she didn't have patience. She was like, I will look. I will look. And she just took the papers from me. And she started looking. And I was like, okay, this I can't believe this is the person that I'm about to let check down there. Like, I was, like, scared, you know. So, um, we're walking. And I'm following her. And she steps into this room. I'm thinking like, okay, this is the room. Then the door just slams in my face. And I'm like, okay. And then she comes back out. She's like, okay, let's go. Let's go. And I'm like, okay. So we get in the room and she's like, take off your panties. Take off your panties. Just rushing me. And I'm like, whoa, buddy. Slow it down. Slow it down. So then... You know, I took off my panties. She's talking to me. She's like, this is your first pregnancy, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah. You know, at this point, I'm turned off by her. Like, I'm turned off by her. But I'm still being, you know, acting like a civilized person. But at this point, I'm, like, definitely turned off. So she's like, lay down. And then I lay down flat. And then she's, like, adjusting it so where my head could be up a little bit. So... Like I said, I've never done this before, never been pregnant, whatever. So, but I'm just going based off what I see in movies. 
So she's, I'm um, like just, you know, looking at my stomach with the, I don't know what it's called, the, she puts a gel and she's looking at my stomach, but she's not showing me the screen. So I'm not seeing anything. She's just the only one that has a view of what's going on inside me. And I had my child's father on FaceTime. You know just you know he wasn't able to come in so i was like let me facetime him so he could at least be a part of the experience so i had him on facetime and he's like why the fuck can't we see the screen like i was like i don't know you know and she's like then she she's done with that part of the ultrasound and then she puts the thing inside of me so she can do that's also t another way to i guess look inside to see how far along i am and if the baby's okay whatever so i'm just like i wasn't even in there for 10 minutes no actually when she put the thing inside of me i was like you know you're hurting me and she goes okay wait and i'm like okay so she takes it out she goes she goes and she puts the light on and she inserts it back in she's like are you okay and i'm just like it doesn't even matter at this point just do what you're doing so um we um so we she does the test or whatever and she turns everything off she's like baby baby's heart rate is good baby's growing good you can get dressed and i looked at her like excuse me we're done I, um do i see anything and then she just turns the screen and she just shows me the thousands of pictures that she's taken i'm like i don't even know what the fuck i'm looking at like are you kidding me right now i'm like can i have the the sonogram picture she's like the machine is down and i looked at her i was like the machine is down or you don't want to refill the paper because i did notice that the paper got jammed in the machine and she was like no the machine is there's no more paper for the day and i was just like excuse me i was like you're in a rush to go home is that what it is she's like no there's no more paper and i was like get the paper that's jammed in and give it to me by the time i turned around that paper that was jammed in the machine was already in the garbage like who the fuck does that to someone who the fuck in their right mind would think it's okay to throw someone's sonogram picture in the garbage like i was so livid i literally snatched it out of her hand and i walked out and i was walking with it in my hand and i was like as i'm walking out like i was showing everyone on my way out i was like this is how you guys fucking operate here is this how you guys fucking operate here i never want to come back to this piece of shit ass place ever again i was really really fucking annoyed i was so mad and like i literally had a crumbled up sonogram i have it somewhere i have to find it um it was just the worst i was so pissed off i was so angry um my child's father was angry it was just the worst guys but anyways i'm gonna end this video here part two will be out soon shortly after this video but this video isn't going to come out um i'm just going to tell you guys right now i am currently 11 weeks pregnant um i do not know what i'm having yet i actually want to upload this video when i find out the gender of my baby um which would be in like you know like a month a month and a half um i just wanted to record this because let me just say like pregnancy brain is real i forget things a lot um i'm just all over the place so i want to record this also because i've been a little fun i've been in a little funk a little bit sad and depressed so i'm like you know why not just i don't know do something positive i promise to come back for my next video looking decent looking like a human being but i know all my pregnant mommies out there that has kids or are pregnant now went through this before you guys feel me like being pregnant is so hard and you have no energy like i don't know if you guys can tell but like i'm a little bit out of breath which happens a lot talking walking sitting i just get out of fucking breath but anyways I'm going to see you guys for part two of the video and I'm going to show you guys my stomach for part two, my ultrasound picture, um, and I'll tell you guys more about 
what my pregnancy has been like and how hard it is <laughs> all right guys see you next time bye